Riviera Maya. You been no, there? No, never been there. Okay. So what about Cabo, Los Cabos? I've been in Los Cabos. Cabo, so I've been there too. Okay. Well, this would be nice too. See, we go to travel is probably the number one thing, you know. I've been cruising since the the early, I believe it was the early 90s. And been to the Caribbean so many times, Mexico, been to Hawaii, Maui, been to St. Thomas a few times. Um, hot springs, uh, like hot springs, going. that's our little getaway for the weekend. Life with early stage chronic kidney disease didn't slow Eric down. He and his wife, Tamika, traveled and lived an active life until Eric's disease rapidly progressed to kidney failure. One day, um, I had came home and I was uh, not feeling too good. So I came home, sat in a chair and um, I started feeling lightheaded. He needed to start dialysis urgently. Everything kind of hit them at once. I think the biggest challenge that I felt personally is many times these patients that are starting dialysis are unplanned. And then uh, over there, sometimes it's just a rush to do it. Eric started center hemodialysis, traveling to a clinic three times a week for treatments lasting four hours per session. I was having a rough time in the beginning because it was the soreness and the fatigue and the tiredness. They said my muscles had to get used to the fluid being taken off. And I was in bad shape, <laughs> really, my wife could tell you. Sometimes I would be in so much pain, she used to have to help me upstairs and take my clothes off. He just didn't do good with the center. He would pull like three to four kilograms on the dialysis days. And then he would be pretty wasted the day after and he just didn't feel well. He didn't really enjoy doing anything. He was kind of stuck in the house. He spent most of his days worrying about dialysis or being on dialysis. Here I am taking my husband to dialysis. No energy, just almost lifeless. How do we go from living a life, traveling all over the world, doing things to this? Like, it's just, it was so depressing. Tamika knew they couldn't give up. She and Eric deserved a better life. She made the decision to meet with Dr. Siddiqui and find out if there was a better way for Eric to do dialysis. He said, Ms. Blocker, I think y'all would benefit from home dialysis. He said, call Kevin. And that's what I did. I called Kevin and, and he was real nice. They came here and we had hours, hour and a half of, of education. I got to listen to their story and hear where they were coming from and where they had been before and where they were at that point. And I just saw a man very desperate for something else than what he was having to go through. We had the meeting with Kevin and Tamika was telling him, uh, you know, the symptoms I was having about my being so tired. And she said, you know, I wasn't the same person, you know, since I've been on dialysis. And she said she just wanted her husband back the way that I used to be. After learning about his treatment options, Eric chose home hemodialysis. With Tamika by his side, they began the six-week training program at Satellite Wellbound Memphis. When he first came to me, you could tell that he wasn't living his best life, right? So as time went on, he started, he would come in, he was a little bit perkier during our training sessions. And over time, just started noticing he had more energy. He started saying that he's, he was feeling better. It's been a lifesaver. <laughs> we did the six weeks training and we've been doing it ever since, haven't had any problems. I got my energy back uh, and I feel great. The drained feeling, the feeling that I'm just useless after dialysis, that went away. That really made a huge impact to the point that he really tells me that, Doc, I got my life back. Right after training was over, uh, they went on a trip to the beach, and I'll never forget, Tamika came back and she said, Lauren, my husband was all over that beach. He, uh, he was ahead of me, I was trying to keep up with him. You know, and that was, that gives me chills just thinking about it. I would say that he's definitely living his best life right now. Yes. Just to see him have his joy back, that's been the most rewarding. And every day, it's like 
it's a breath of fresh air doing the home dialysis because I know this enhances his quality of life. And we've started back traveling. I got my old boy back and I'm, I'm happy about that. You have so much more freedom, you know, you can do it at your own pace. You can set your days that you want to do it, you know. We can travel, we can take our machine with us. I think it's the, the freedom, it sort of gives you, I don't know, like self-respect, you know, like you, it's, it's not as bad, you know, because I can do it whenever I want to. It's completely changed my life. <laughs> well, we just put on, we just put them on. Well, this would be nice too, see, we go to the wine tree.